Alrighty, so you are welcome back. And now, so we have with us Nigerian stage and film actor Kemi Lala Akindoju, winner of the Africa Magic Trailblazer Award for her role in the film adaptation of Dazzling Mirage. She started her acting career in 2005 from stage performance before venturing into uh, feature films. She has featured in films like Alan Poser, The CEO, 50, and much more. In 2012, she formed part of the team selected to perform at the Theatre Royale, Stanford, uh, East and uh, the Cultural Olympiad during the London Olympics. And let's say a good morning and welcome to you, Lulu. Hello, Lala Rada. Good morning, Lala. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's good to have you here again. <laughs> yeah, good to be here. I'll be it virtually, but good to be yes, here. Yes, yes. Oh, all I mean, is good. When, while he was reading your bio, I, I did, what got my attention was um, winning the Trailblazer Award. I think it was even just beyond <laughs> Dazzling Mirage. Mm. I think it's for her journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was her journey in the um, Nigerian film and stage industry. Mm. Lala is like a force to reckon with. So it's good to have you here. Great to have you here. <laughs> Good to be here. Good um, to be here. We know we know you're talking. You're working currently um, in. Um, you're working on smart money woman now as a woman and how the society is conscious now and how we are trying to push women to just not be relaxed but to be at the forefront. What does this project yeah. say and how does this impact the female gender? Um, this project is very important because it started off as a book. Yeah. Um, a book written by RSA Ugu. And anybody that knows RSA knows that RSA is focused on empowering women and talking about money and financial independence. And you know, when she wrote this book, you know, you, I even thought it was going to be like a boring book about money, but it was a beautiful story, relatable story about, you know, this group of friends living in Lagos and how they work through their financial lives. So um, taking it from a book to a television series I mean, it's been such a, such a great journey, such a long and hard journey, but it's really liberating. It's liberating because through entertainment, you're able to learn financial independence. You're able to tell a story that people can relate to. Yes. When you watch that Money Woman TV series, as, well, if you read the book, you'll be familiar with the characters. Yeah. But when you watch the show, there's a woman there that every woman can identify with. You know, yeah. there's the single girl who's struggling at work, that's Zuri. There is um, the daddy's girl. There's the married woman whose husband is taking her money. You know, there are different characters, but it brings us to financial independence. It brings us to your network. Is your network really your net worth? And we have these conversations using television as a tool. And I think it's beautiful. The women are beautiful. The fashion is beautiful. The cinematography is beautiful. And I think everybody's going to love it. Well, okay. I've got a question for you. Um, okay. So you, you're someone who's worked both here and outside of the country, and I'm wondering what the experience is like and how they compare, especially here in Nigeria. I don't know. I'm, I'm figuring that there might be a few um, challenges that we might have when it comes to putting out fantastically curated work. So what is the experience like on both sides of the pond? Not really a pond. I mean, I mean, Nigeria is a growing industry. Nollywood is a growing industry. And on The Smart Money Woman, I work as a producer, not just an actor. So it was my responsibility to working with the executive producer, RSA, to bring it to life and put all the production elements together. And um, when the funding is sorted, and trust me, funding is a huge part of it. Mm. When the funding is sorted, there are the many logistics, you know, the movement around. Um, things would be a lot easier if, for example, we had like studios here where we could build sets. But the beautiful thing is that we push and we push and we push. And so we're able to still make the best of the, the houses that we find, the locations that we find, the crew, and I tell you this, the, the creative industry in Nigeria is a force because despite sometimes there being a lack of structure or there, there some, there's, despite, you know, the, the, the hardship or, you know, we are able to still make magic. We're able mm -hmm. to push and, you know, working on this project was, it was a lot of hard work, but we had a crew. I had a crew of people that were dedicated, people that were determined, that were committed to the story. So yes, there are issues with power, there are issues with transportation, there are issues with even shooting on the streets. You know, we, I, I'm hoping that we get to a point where um, creatives can have access 
access to film on the streets of Lagos and is, Nigeria. Is that, is that a big challenge, and, shooting on the streets? How, how big a challenge is it? You've experienced that as yeah. well. It's a challenge. It's a challenge because, you know, we have to get a permit. Sometimes after you get a permit, some things are not allowed. You know, the laws don't really support us, you yeah. know, um, to shoot. Like, or we don't have that kind of access. The, the, the bureaucracy is a lot. But I mean, we're doing it because we have mm. to be law abiding citizens. Yeah. Um, and with the Smart Money Woman, we were able to make it all work. You know, I like to say I like to make things happen. So we made it all happen. And I'm not trying to focus on the many, many challenges that, mm. we, that okay. we faced. Okay. Now, apart from um, Smart Money Woman, I want to digress and talk about Kemi Lala for a bit. Okay. Now, I, I do okay. remember, um, at least I have followed your journey for a bit now and i remember when you were getting married it hit us like a surprise because it came it was it was we just moved from watching stage her one man show and next thing she was getting married now let's talk about um, being a celebrity and getting married to a celebrity and keeping it under the wraps now my first question is why did you keep to, why did you decide to keep your relationship private and how well did that work for you I mean, in the same spirit of keeping it private, is I'm still that way. So I'm not even going to go deep into answering this question. <laughs> I, I, I kind of knew I that. Figured. <laughs> I got a new. I don't really talk about these things, but <laughs> I think it all worked well, and it will continue to work well. Um, I just think that I see myself as a person, and we see ourselves as, as people, not yeah. celebrities. And you know, we're just focused on ourselves and our journeys and our work. Okay. Okay, I, I do get you not talking about that, but oh, you recently did. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to, I was trying to, you know, start At least to, get you to say to something get here. <laughs> but um, um, let's talk about, during the lockdown, you did um, a mentorship for young and upcoming actors who wanted to understand the industry. And you know, there are a lot of people in your league and hi higher who haven't taken up that step. So what inspired you to start the mentoring process um, for young and upcoming actors? Um, I'm generally passionate about making um, things easier for those coming behind me. And being an actor, being an artist anywhere in the world is not easy. And um, everybody's always trying to find a way to, to, to grow and what do I do, how do I grow, et cetera, et cetera. So me as a person, I like to share. I like to say, you know what, this is what I did and this is what you can do. Because I, find, I, I found that you know, people will come and say, well, I want to be an actor. And they don't even know that they need to you know, um, get headshots taken. They don't even know that they need to start to attend auditions. So I put together the Actors Blueprint course, which is an online course that you know, anybody who wants to become an actor can sign up for. And it, can, um, it opens you up into the world of acting and you get to really know if this is what you want to do or not. It's for beginners. And for me, um, it's also very fulfilling. Uh, any opportunity that I have to pay things forward, I pay it forward. And I just want to keep helping people get better. If something took me 15 years, it should take you five years. You know, that's my policy. And I just, that's, that's just something I'm passionate about. Oh, thank oh, you so much. It's always inspiring you. to listen to you and to watch you. You're definitely one of the few that I reckon with. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much, Lala. That's a beautiful one. Uh, thank you for spending time with us here. We really do appreciate it. And uh, we're looking forward to having you with us in the studio when all of this is over. Yes, thank you so much for having me. And I just want to say that everyone should just watch out for the Smart Money Woman show coming very, very soon to all screens near you. Alrighty. Thank you. All right, there you okay. have it. Well, we have plenty more coming up on the show. We're yeah. getting ready in the, uh, the garden, games the that games. Mazino feels like he's going to trash <laughs> us all. Well, you're going to like this one. You're going to like I this one. I better do. Yeah. So let's do this break. When we get back, it's more Wake Up Nigeria on the other side. Yeah.